Hey everybody, this is a video on how to publish a video on Windows Movie Maker and make a simple video on Windows Movie Maker and publish the video on YouTube. So you have several options here. You can you can click on audio or music, videos, pictures, transitions, effects, and titles. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add content by using the vi um, picture section. Now, you see windows of pictures pop up and you just want to click on it and go down to import and then they will now appear highlighted blue in your library. So all you want to do, and you can also see it appear over there, so to get onto your timeline you want to click and drag onto the timeline until you see a blue bar and then you let go. It will automatically move back. So now that's your video and you can play, play it with the play button. It's down there so click play but it's pretty boring because there is no music no effects or anything it's just a picture that'd be a dumb video so there's also a storyboard option to do this by if you're familiar with that but um, it's not very useful I like the timeline option so you can also change the length of your clip by dragging it over until you see the red clings and then you can move it back and forth like this with the arrows by clicking and dragging See now it's longer and I can make it shorter if I need to. So now my video, you can tell by the length there that it's longer and shorter or short. So now what I can do is, is I can add effects. So what I have to do is scroll up to effects or I can also just do quick a fade in and fade out effects which are just fade out to black and fade into what black. So I can now you see the stars showing that you have two effects on there. So now right click again, go to effects, and you see a bunch of effects on there. It's really great. So you see all the, the two effects already on there already, but I'm going to choose some other effects. I'm going to do ease in, which is a zoom in one, and I'll just look around um, that one. The, the film age, it makes the film look a lot older than it really is. Pretty cool effect. So now that I have that, I can rewind it, and we'll check out and see what that looks like. So now you see that it's zooming in slowly with the old film age. Really cool effect. You can tell that it definitely would look old. So, and it fades out, as you can see there. That's a new effect. Okay. So now you can also drag another picture just by clicking that and automatically dragging and automatically moves back to the next video. And fade in as the default and fade out. And then you can just add I'm going to I'm adding a random collage of pictures here. It's going to be a simple movie but it's not not necessarily the greatest clip ever. So add some random effects to it. Okay, so now I have some random effects on there. Now you can also add audio tracks by clicking on audio or music. Now you have the MP3. You can see the music note next to it to tell if it's MP3. I'm just going to click on this random one here. And as again, it's highlighted, but it, this time it doesn't show the picture. It just says a little music note and it says MP3 in little letters. Just going to click and drag, and right below the video, there will be an audio or music section. You can see over here, right there, where my mouse is clicking. That's the audio or music part. So now you can see the track down that down below. Now you click and now you can hear obviously the song. With my random effects added to it. However, there's still a long audio track at the end of it, so instead of having to go through the whole long song, you want to move that green bar and you want to put it to the end of your video. Then there's a split option that cuts your track and clip or clip into two pieces. Now it's in two pieces, so now there's separate effects that I can do to the other one. I can move it back and forth, or but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete it because I don't want a long song on my video. Because if you upload it to YouTube, it'll just be a black screen for five more minutes of your video and now it stops so now you're gonna make it fade out if you want to make it smoother 
that's what I did so it doesn't sound like chopped off sounds a lot better that way the next step in getting your video onto YouTube is to publish it so you can either publish it up here and publish movie which will bring up this window and you can choose what you want to publish it to or, but you can also just go to publish to this computer this is how to do it so you want to save your file name up here so I'm gonna call it test movie and publish it to videos that's just what I'm gonna choose now this part's difficult what you need to do is it says best quality playback for my computer recommended you do not want to click that one it, uh, YouTube doesn't take AVI files you want to go to more settings and right now it's under AVI you can check that by looking down here and it says movie settings and it'll say AVI in parentheses all the other options are WMV the lower you go on the list, the lower quality they are, but I'm going to do the highest one on the list, which is Windows Media Portable, portable Device. Depending on the bandwidth of your computer, choose which ones you need. So then you click Publish, and then you wait. Now I'm just going to do Time Lapse. So now it's going to give you the option to Finish or Play Movie when I click Finish. Check that if you want, but it's optional. So hit Finish. And now you want to go to YouTube to get your to get publish your video on YouTube so that's the next step in this tutorial okay so now to upload a video you'll see on the side that there's a yellow upload icon right here you can save it as a video file or quick capture but I'm just gonna do the default upload now this is the new feature so this is great because I they think they just changed this tonight but what you want to do is click on browse and then I saved it under videos which is under owner if you have Vista then this is where you go if you want to find it and there's videos and find my video test movie click open and then you want to click upload video this will bring down the options to your title description and tags so I'm gonna call my title something really long it's going to be this is the testing movie if you haven't seen it yet just so people know it's not a retarded video for no reason so write your description this is what people are going to see when they want to know about the video and tags are what people use to find your video so say they want to watch something on explosions they'll type in explosions and etc cetera, etc cetera. so I'm going to type in something like let's see here uh, test windows movie maker features, tutorial, anything that you think somebody might type in. And then you want to do your category, which is how to and style, because it's a tutorial, obviously. And the privacy option. Sh share it with the world is obviously recommended, and private is viewable up to 25 people, which is just dumb. I don't know why they have that option. So you just want to definitely do share your video with the world in, other, in, it in case you want something different, but then you click save and changes and then your video is uploaded but it'll take a while before it's completely viewable and live to the world so first what you want to do uh, is let's see this is the first time I'm using it we'll try my videos yeah that worked okay so there's your video on there and as you can see it's not up fully uploaded yet it says uploaded processing please wait down there so that means it's not fully uploaded yet. And also, as you can see on the picture, it would show the exact halfway through your video picture, which was probably the flowers or something like that. Uh, but so it's not. So I'm just going to skip this for now. And now my video is uploaded. You'll know this because it has a picture and it says live down in the corner. So to view your video, just click on the title. And there's the title up there. And as you can see, it's exactly, there's a description on the side. It's exactly what I did on Windows Movie Maker. You'll see the comments, just like a regular YouTube video. It's everything the same. 